hello what's up youtube Ronnie sweet and i tutorial and in this tutorial i'll show you guys how you can save multiple number of images in photoshop so usually i've been showing you the met method whereby you guys have to go to file export export as and you go to the format and choose everything and also embed the color profile and convert to srgb and add some sharpening so i think this is so far the best method i'm not saying that this is a wrong method if at all you have the time in the world to do it this way, you can do it if at all you have very few images to work on. And but if at all you have so many images to work on, this is the best way for you. So before we can go ahead, let me just give you guys a moment to hit the like button on this video so that you guys can really benefit when this video is recommended to more people out there and YouTube can push it to more people and we can grow this channel together. So I hope you are done hitting the like button. So right now I have a number of images. Yes, I already did some retouching on them. So I want to add some kind of adjustment layers so that it can look as if we are doing like editing and we have a multiple number of layers. So I'm just going to create just some random layers on these images i'm just going to leave it i'm just doing i'm just pretending as if we are editing these images and that's what i'm trying to do so i'm just going to come and add the curves just like that i'm just going to come to the next image and add some kind of adjustment layer so usually when we are editing we have a number of layers right here that's why i'm just trying to uh, pretend as if we are adding some kind of little or tiny editing to the images so that Photoshop can think maybe we are working on this and I want you guys to see that this is going to be flattening the images or merging these layers so a trick I want to show you is by simply coming to file so you come to file right here and you come down to scripts so before you can do that, for those people that have Mac, I don't know, or I'm not quite sure for people that use Windows, but if at all you are using Mac, before you do this technique or process, first of all, come and create a folder for yourself. So I'm just going to create a random folder on my desktop, and I'm just going to name it to a maybe tutorial. I think that can be fine. Tutorial. So it is in this folder whereby we are going to be saving our images so i'm just going to name it a uh, tutorial just like that and hit enter so we want to save all our images automatically in this folder right there so i'm just going to close this or minimize it so like i said we come to file and we come down to where it says scripts i hope you can see this option in your photoshop so under scripts you just come to image processor just right here so you have so many options right here. you can just flatten all the masks or delete all empty layers so you, as you can see everything but for this case we only want to use image processor right here i hope you can see it so just come and hit or click on image processor and you're going to get this window right here i hope you can see it so under this window we have the option which says so the option one it says select the images to process so in order to select the images to process you either have to choose a specific folder on your computer yeah if i told you have maybe xmp files or like what i mean by xmp files is those files that are stored by the camera filter interface or maybe lightroom i don't know if at all lightroom does this but usually it is maybe the processed file for uh, the camera raw filter you can just come and select these other options but if at all you want to work on the images open into photoshop and you're done doing the retouching like we have in the background right here you can just come and use the option which says use open images but if at all you want to work on images that you don't have you can just come and look at this and you click on it so you can now choose the images in which you want to 
apply maybe the settings or whichever effect that you want so just come and uncheck that so i just want to use the open images in my photoshop currently so which is the major emphasis for this tutorial and after doing that we have the option two which says select location to save process images like i said the reason as to why we created that folder is to easily find it and choose that folder in which we want to save our images so you can see that it says save in same location so by default it's going to be on this option right here but we don't want to save the images into the same location from which we are editing them from we just want to create or save the images in a way different folder so just come and select or choose this option right here which says select folder so we want to keep our images in a specific folder that we created at our desktop location so just come and look for that and look for the desktop so this is my desktop and like i said i named this folder tutorial just click on it and hit open just like that and you can see that it has chosen the folder for us so right here it shows us the file type so depending on the file type that you want to save we have jpeg psd tiff so you can just come and choose a jpeg because this is supported by uh, most or even our clients prefer jpeg files and for the quality you can change it from whichever you want you can just type in any figure so it ranges from around i think 1 to 12 so if at all you want to send a client bigger files, you can just type in 12 right there. And also make sure to check this option which says convert profile to sRGB. So that you don't have a color shift or a color change in the images after we have been able to save them. So after doing that, we have where it says preferences. So you can as well add an action. Maybe if at all you just want to add maybe your copyright information and everything can add it in this option or you can even include the icc profile so i just prefer to check these two options so i check this and i also check this to have my information on my images the way i captured it before before actually doing the processing and after doing that i'm just going to come to this option which says run and when i click on this option just like that you're going to notice that it's going to start saving the images automatically and within a short time you can even be doing other things as this thing is doing everything automatically for you so let's just give it a few seconds and when it's done you it is just going to stop at that point and when we run back into the folder in which we are able to save the images we're going to be seeing the images in that specific folder so this can help you save so so much time rather than going to file export export as in or maybe saving for web and everything so right now it is actually done saving all the images so let's go to our folder in which we uh, created all the folder we saved on the desktop so it has saved my files as jpeg files and you can see them right here in this folder which is named as jpeg so when i open this folder you can see that all my images you can see all my images have been saved in uh, this folder so basically this is how to save multiple images in photoshop and if at all you have loved this video don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if at all you have been watching from this channel for the very first time ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating